In this video, we're going to compute the variance of standard deviation of this example of a finite, discrete, uh, random variable that we've used a couple of times now. And the last time this variable showed up, we computed its expectation. And we found that the expectation of this random variable, which can also more concisely be denoted as mu, was 19 over 24. And we'll need to use that expectation when we calculate the variance. And to get the variance of standard deviation, we always have to do the variance first, because we do the, we calculate the variance, and then the standard deviation is just the square root of that variance. Okay, and the variance is denoted by sigma squared. And to calculate the variance, we add up the squares of the differences between the possible values and the means Okay, multiplied by their probabilities. Okay. And this is written as an expectation. It's the expectation of x minus mu squared. Right, because expectation says that we multiply this by its probability. So I plug in k for x, multiply it by the probability that I get that k, and then add up all those products. Okay, so here, um, it is in a nice concise formula that I'm going to be able to put into Wolfram Alpha. Instead, I'll just have to use the entire length of my screen here and write it out. Okay, and my, I forgot to put my um, summation limits here. I sum from k equals 0 to 5 uh, over, over all the possible values, my random variable. Okay, so I'll start off with k equals 0, and I do 0 minus the expectation squared, and then I multiply that by the probability. Okay. And then I add the same thing for 1. 1 minus the expectation, square that difference, and multiply by the probability. Same thing for 2. Multiply by the probability of getting 2 under this random variable. And then we'll put 3 in here. It looks like 4 and 5 are going to need to go on the next line. 3 minus 19 over 24 squared times the probability of getting 3 plus 4 minus 19 over 24 squared times 1 over 24 plus 5 minus 19 over 24 squared times 1 over 24. Okay, so we're finding the expectations of the squares of the, dif dis of the differences between the uh, random variable values and the mean. Alright, if we compute that out, then it ends up being 1,103 over 576, and that's the variance. As a um, as a decimal, that's about 1.915. Oh, too many points there. 1.915. Now to get this standard deviation, so there's the variance. To get this standard deviation, I take the square root of that. Okay. Now it turns out that 576 is 24 squared, well, which sort of makes sense because you end up with a 24. Um, so. When I take the square root, I get that sigma is a square root of 11 over 03 over 24, which is at approximately 1.384. Okay, so there's our variance right here. And then our standard deviation is the square root of that. Okay, so there's an example of how to calculate variance of standard deviation for a finite discrete distribution.